wrong? Gamers, girls, escaped mental patients, mutually exclusive groups. I've got a surprise for you guys. We're going to be taking apart the Pipe Hitter 37mm launcher. I promised a build video on this a couple weeks ago, and I uh, just simply fucking forgot about it. If you have a problem with that, you can come fight me. But we're going to take a look at this, and I've got this sign plate off, so let's dig in. Now here I've got my buddy's dissipator with a Cobra 37mm launcher on it, and an M203 heat shield. The Cobra opens just like an M203 with a forward sliding barrel, whereas mine pivots open like an M320. It's just easier to make that way. His mounts like an M203 as well, directly to the barrel nut and around the barrel, whereas mine has plastic hardware that can't touch the hot barrel, so it mounts to the hand guard. They both cock the same with an external cocking knob that's easier than the M203's cock on clothes. I also found out mine's about 38mm, and his will have a dud with a primer-only round to test the launcher. Alright, now I've got my list of materials here for the base receiver. So for this right here, I have 40 millimeter long M5 bolts, not including the head. I actually went with a 50 mil and ground them down so I'd have an extra 2 millimeter sticking out so I could use a nylon locking nut on the back of this. Aside from those, on the inside of the receiver where the spring is attached, not including the head, this bolt here is 10 millimeter with a nut affixed on the back. The springs are generic retraction springs I found at Lowe's Hardware. They're roughly 10 millimeter in diameter, 20 millimeter in length, with a 10 millimeter loop on each end. Anything that will fit inside of this trow here should work just as well. Rubber bands, if you feel so inclined, might even function. The spring on the back of the trigger is just under 10 millimeter, sourced in the same, Lowe's hardware. It's about 40 millimeters long, as is. Compressed, I'm not sure. This doesn't need full compression, as it's simply returning the trigger and sear, all one piece. There's another of that model spring right here, and there's another 40 or so millimeter long bolt through here, which is also the catch for the barrel. That's just threaded onto here, and then they bolt a nut on the back for retention. This is actually just a piece of threaded rod cut the size. The reach face fender washer is a one and one quarter. I believe I have an eighth inch depth hole. There's actually uh, two of them stacked up. The firing pin is simply a nail, about three millimeters, a common nail. I have rounded it off, and I've cut it to protrude only 3 millimeter from the breech face. That will just uh, be an indefinite size. It will have to be hand fitted, as yours won't probably be the same depth as mine will. The barrel latch here, the pivot pin I mean, is a 1 quarter 20 thread bolt. It is not including the head, two inches, and it is set between two bushings. They are one quarter inch internal, they are three quarter inch in length, and I believe outside they are three eighths. Just same thing, Lowe's hardware, one quarter inch internal diameter bushing. On this Picatinny receiver, the width of this receiver is 30 millimeters. So I've cut some bolts to fit, not including the head. They should be roughly 35 millimeter. The standalone mount is not published yet and it does need some revisions still. Overall, that concludes the hardware you should need to build this. Aside from, of course, the barrel itself being a 38 millimeter internal diameter fence post. For clarity, here's the current revision breech face and the current revision barrel latch. 
This requires a 55 millimeter piece of threaded rod from the back to the front pin, which protrudes when it's open, as you can see here. As for the handguard, this piece right here is actually angled upward. This is the model that bolts directly to a handguard. There's a bolt in the middle that combines the two pieces, as this is too long to print on your standard ender. This is the mid-length DLC option to fit a mid-length handguard. This handguard attaches from the bottom, and it has 1 quarter 20 inch bolts of intermediate length. There's different thicknesses of handguards. I just went with a one and a half inch bolt and trimmed it enough that it doesn't touch the barrel. Once more, there's several manufacturers of handguard. They all maintain roughly the same angle. However, the depth and thickness of the handguard does change, so I can't give you a solid measurement on this. Pardon the clutter, but I do actually have all three of these. I've not just been swapping them back and forth between videos. This model is fitted with a shim spacer that allows it to fit a PSQ-18 laser unit, as the handguard is thinner than an M203 that it would normally fit on. This unit is also equipped with a suppressor. It still fits the same barrel latch. The barrel is slightly heavier, but I haven't had to beef it up to accommodate this. The suppressor has not been released yet, but it's a very simple construction. The aluminum pipe barrel starts all the way back here and comes all the way to the end. It is monolithic. The suppressor does not come off. That is a requirement for this to be legal. Instead, the barrel is ported. It has holes drilled on the internal section of this, and then the three baffles accept the reserve gas. I know I just said the L word, and a lot of people have opinions. I get YouTube analytics. I know the main demographic of people who watch my channel. Some of you might not be on board. Apparently, I have two women who watch my channel. And according to YouTube analytics, two of you are watching this on a smart TV somehow. I don't know how that works. The year my birthday is on starts with a 19. I'm a boomer. So I can make this brief. I don't want it to seem like anything that I say is untoward. We can discuss our opinions in a civil manner, especially federal agents who think their opinions are laws. So we'll keep it nice and kind over here. If you're a federal agent and you're watching this, I invite you to change your mind. Just got a primer. Edit that out.